Lots of clouds in place right now, but they're going to be thinning out as we go through the morning and we're going to have a, a fairly sunny and very warm and humid Saturday. Let's take a look at what's going on across the region. We've got a little sun right now, but still lots of clouds in our sky. Despite the clouds, we are rain free at the moment. We do have a lot of rain off to our south. In fact, if we take a look at the satellite picture, you can see these big clumpy clouds out across North Carolina and farther out off to the east in the middle of the Atlantic. Those are some big rain and thunderstorms that will be staying away from us. It would be nice if we could get some more rain here here in southern New England. I don't see it really for the most part this weekend. So very warm and humid today. Now a spot shower is certainly possible, maybe a, an isolated downpour, but most of the day, most of the area will be dry and not much rain ahead. I don't know if you saw it the other day. We had an update to the uh, drought update all of Rhode Island, with the exception of Block Island, in an extreme drought. Block Island, you're in a severe drought. So, you know, the dry conditions continue here in southern New England. Providence, got the cloudy skies, dry here. Now look at Newport, you can kind of look at, barely make out the top of the bridge here. A little touch of fog, perhaps, maybe it's some haze. Temperature is 72, with a wind from the south at about eight miles an hour. The dew points have been rising, and as a result, a little touch of fog trying to form. Low 70s across the region, 71 in Providence, Newport 72. Cumberland's at 70 with a calm wind. Dew point there, a little bit lower at 64. The more humid air right now is definitely down near the south shore. So satellite radar picture showing these clouds streaming overhead in advance of this weather system down here off the Carolina coastline. This misses us, but the clouds getting us for now, but eventually we're going to be seeing the sun take back over. Let's take a look at it. Here's nine o'clock this morning, clouds around, and then by early afternoon, we're looking at quite a bit of sun, but I, I want you to also take note. We've got a couple of showers and isolated downpour here and there across the region. Maybe some more off to our west could come in. Uh, we're not looking at a completely dry day, but a quick spot shower is probably what we're looking at for the day ahead. Now tonight, the evening's dry, and then later in the night, low clouds and fog begin to take back over here in southern New England. And that's where we start tomorrow, and then we'll see more in the way of sunshine for tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. So today, temperatures topping out in the upper 80s inland. It's going to be hot and humid, maybe a, a quick spot shower. But overall, a fairly quiet weather day out on the beaches, partly sunny and dry. Air temperatures around 80 degrees, a decent beach day, especially in the afternoon. Right now, lots of clouds around. Wind from the south out there on the bay, 5 to 10 knots. Waves should be small, visibility unrestricted. High tide about 3.30 this afternoon. Now tonight, upper 60s with partly to mostly cloudy skies with some of that fog returning, as we talked about. And then for tomorrow, morning clouds and fog giving way to some sunshine. Temperatures maybe a little bit cooler tomorrow, about 84, but still very humid. Here's your seven day forecast. Now Monday uh, and Tuesday, we are looking at the chance for some rain showers both days. Hopefully it becomes a widespread rain. We really do need it. And then the rest of the week, warm and humid with quiet weather, mid to upper 80s for the end of the week. WPRI.com, you can always get your updated forecast there, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Let's